big issues that people have at home when they're making espresso and the issues that they come to us with, uh, most of them stem from just not paying enough attention to the recipe. Uh, there are, there's, there's like real blocks there about, I want to do this, I want to make great espresso, I do not want to ever use a scale. And the scale is just going to make it so much easier. Uh, you can spend years of your life trying to successfully do what a scale will do for 18 bucks. Absolutely, and that's, and I think not even not paying attention to a brew ratio recipe, but not knowing there is a brew ratio recipe is the thing that I find. People just will assume that if they fill the basket with coffee that they have dosed the right amount of coffee, and if they hit the button and count to 25, then the, you know, the espresso that's gonna be in the cup is correct. But then they taste it and they say something's wrong. Yeah. And so I get a call and they say, well, I did everything correct. You know, I put the right amount of coffee and I saw, I looked at it and then I hit the button for 25 seconds, but it doesn't taste very good. And so really I start with most people on an education of telling them like, have you weighed it? And it's always like, well, no, I didn't know I was supposed to. If I can get people starting to weigh uh, their coffee ins and outs, almost automatically they go, oh, it's way better. Uh, yeah. That's the number one thing.